contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing 228 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Curtis Axel. Ah, the WWE Universe letting him hear it. Hold on to your seats, folks. Kofi Kingston's energy level looks to be off the charts tonight. You know, I don't know how he does it, Cole. I get exhausted just watching him. Chin lock. Kofi Kingston making a move. Curtis Axel making a move. Kofi's one of the most dynamic athletes in WWE. His athleticism knows no bounds, and neither does his vertical leap. Kingston's sonic boom type of offense is so amazing that he's been given the nickname the Wildcat. And we all know Wildcats are fearless. Curtis Axel with the excellent move to get out. And he hits the neck breaker. Kofi Kingston conjuring up some good momentum here. Did you hear how his leg connected? He was one step ahead on that one. Well, we get to see a lot of amazing things from where we sit. And believe me, when I say there is nothing like seeing Kofi Kingston's athleticism in the ring. Everyone loves it. Well, everyone except Kofi's opponents. Curtis Axel is on the attack. Oh, no! Oh! Curtis Axel showing some expert prowess here. What a shot! Turning it around, it's Kofi Kingston with the reversal. Yeah. Watch it, he looks fired up here. Look at the eyes. I'm enjoying Kofi Kingston's work right here. Nice. And he reversed it. Good move there. Cover, cover. Kofi Kingston kicks out quickly. Remember, in 
championship matches, the title cannot change hands. That's it. He's out. That should do it right there. So there you have it. Curtis Axel gets the win and remains the champion. Let's go to the highlights here. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. Here is your winner, and still the Intercontinental Champion, representing the Athens, Curtis Axel. What an incredible match. That one could have gone either way. Nobody has anything to be ashamed of in this one.